Temperatures today already getting into the lower 90s. The average high at this point in September is now upper 80s. So we're a little above average, but I think we can all agree at least it's not triple digits like unfortunately we almost got used to in the month of August. Temperatures right now mostly lower 90s, a few upper 80s mixed in. And once again, our radar mostly quiet, although we do have a surface front moving in just to our north right now. Any rain, though, is over northern Louisiana at this point and a little bit into the Jackson, Mississippi area. We've had a couple of showers and storms just south of our coastline as well. But just looking at what we're seeing with those showers around Shreveport, Monroe, and now edging into Alexandria, that is pretty close to where the front is. It's actually a bit north, so temperatures there in the 70s and then in the 80s when you get into the Alexandria area and then lower 90s where we are. So here is that surface front not moving very fast. This model doing a fine job about picking up on that northern Louisiana batch of rain. Now this is through this afternoon and notice we may have a few spotty showers or storms, but I don't see a whole lot of rain. There will be a chance. So don't be surprised if you have a scattered storm that you find yourself under, but just not a whole lot of widespread soaking rain today, even though the front will be very slowly moving in. And then this is by tomorrow morning, Thursday morning, a quiet start and then very slow movement with this front. It is not a really swift moving front that's bringing in a lot of cool air. It is just hovering near us over the next couple of days, so that'll help our rain chances. Tomorrow was looking a bit drier. Now I have about a 30% chance. This is by Thursday afternoon and then into the evening tomorrow. Still maybe a stray shower or storm around. Friday as well as Saturday and now even into Sunday we have okay or decent kind of rain chances and that will be the case. You can see this is Friday evening and then we'll fast forward to Friday night. Probably any rain drying out and ending for Friday night plans. Today about a 30 40 percent chance of that rain. High temperatures this week have been running around 93 or 94. Then we'll be back eventually into the 70s for lows tonight with not much rain but maybe a stray shower possible overnight. And here were those rain chances staying elevated at least 30 or 40 percent through Sunday. But that's another front that moves in on Sunday. So by Monday we look both drier and less humid. So that should be something to look forward to, although it will still likely be hot, at least some drier air for early next week. We're tracking Category 3 Hurricane Lee, expected to weaken a little bit, but passing west of Bermuda in the next day or so. And then, of course, we've been saying and seeing the models bringing it close to New England by Saturday with a landfall likely somewhere along Nova Scotia, but actually you may have noticed the track has shifted a little bit to the left. So now it's right on the main um, Canada line here for the center line. So it probably will make landfall a little to the left or right, west or east of that uh, line right now, but it does look like it'll be bringing some rain and at least some effects to New England and of course to this part of Canada before weakening a lot and getting out eventually back over the Atlantic, but over those cooler waters it is expected to weaken. So it'll be a weakening system, but also an expanding system as we've been talking about. So that's why we're thinking wind and rain effects are possible along the New England coast and of course into Canada. You can see that cluster just to the east of the center line and this this is the wind field. The yellow indicates winds up to near 60 miles per hour. So that would be tropical storm force. And you can see that extending Friday into Saturday over parts of New England and up the coast of Maine and into Nova Scotia. Rainfall forecast, you can see the coastal spots around Massachusetts and into Maine in the reds and purples. That's indicating a good bit of rain, maybe three plus inches of rain. So some spots will have to deal with those conditions getting into Friday and Saturday. We also have one more spot besides Margo. This is Invest 97. This one, though, looking like it's going to stay out over the open ocean. So we continue with no threats here. Our forecast continues with lower 90s above average, but not at records for temperatures into the weekend and beyond. And again, a break in humidity coming on Monday.